OneWeb and UTELSAT are merging, hoping to create a European alternative to SpaceX's Starlink. Do they have the right stuff? We got the latest on the OneWeb saga next. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a space satellite internet update on one-time Starlink competitor OneWeb. For those who haven't been following along and tracking the next generation satellite constellations coming online for a while, you, you might not have heard of OneWeb, but they've actually been around from the start. They were actually for a while ahead of SpaceX in launching their next generation constellation and in early 2019, it actually even looked like OneWeb might be ahead of the curve and be able to sign up real customers even before SpaceX. But, well, then OneWeb started to hit roadblock after roadblock. First off, the pandemic just basically slammed on the brakes for their business, forcing them into bankruptcy. They were about to be liquidated for parts before the UK government and Her Majesty the Queen stepped in to relaunch and fund the company, to that, saying, hey, we need a non the uh, European Union alternative to GPS will fund OneWeb if we can put our GPS payloads on the top of that. Got them back on track until, well, they were using Russia to launch all their satellites. They had contracted with and prepaid for Russia to launch all the OneWeb satellites. And they were just a few launches away from having enough satellites in orbit to offer commercial service and to go global when, well, Russia invaded the Ukraine ending any hope of partnership between a UK company and Russian launch services. And well, OneWeb was literally launched with, stuck with satellites stranded on the launch pad, again, completely derailing them in early 2022. Well, the saga of OneWeb has continued. They've been completely stalled. They kind of need some hope going forward. They've set up a contract with SpaceX, their competitor, to finish their launches to get the rest of their satellites in orbit. But that delay is pushing their next launches off till the end of 2022. And well, do they have any future, any hope of a future? And well, maybe they now do. So stepping into the mix is a European satellite company called UTELSAT, which operates a fleet of 36 geostationary satellites and has been very successful in kind of the big enterprise business and in the European market, providing satellites for internet and for TV and for enterprise customers. But, well, UTELSAT does not have anything low Earth orbit. They does not have anything next generation with lower latencies. They just have these big geostationary high capacity satellites. So, well, OneWeb and UTELSAT last week announced they're going to combine forces, merge, and design a new network that actually combines low Earth orbit with high altitude geostationary satellites to give the best of both. You get the high capacity, the extra, you know, large capacity of the geostationary satellites, but high latency combined with the low Earth orbit, low latency, um, ubiquitous global coverage. So seems like it could be, you know, there are some actual genuine technical merits to a hybrid architecture like this, but it is complicated. You have to design the ground receivers to be able to talk to both kinds of satellites at the same time. This is going to be tricky and is going to add even more delay to OneWeb getting their service deployed and out, and we'll see what they can actually manage. Now, this merger with UTELSAT is not even going to close until sometime in the first half of 2023. That'll probably be about the time OneWeb finishes getting their constellation launched, assuming uh, SpaceX and their next generation architecture are able to finally finish launching the satellites. So maybe roughly sometime this time next year, we might be hearing from OneWeb again. They might have something interesting to offer, but all signs point to that they're not focusing on the consumer market, the residential market in North America. We'll probably see very little from them targeting any of our typical audience of North American RVers, but we might see some focus on the global marine and leisure yachting industry. That seems to be an area OneWeb still wants to focus on and where their hybrid architecture makes sense. So again, was a once promising company, seems to have been steamrollered by SpaceX and Starlink, but they're not dead yet. We'll check in on them again in a year and see how this merger goes. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.